In this video I'm going to talk about some more concepts to do with momentum and collisions and I'm going to focus on elastic collisions. So for an elastic collision the kinetic energy is conserved. We saw in the previous video that in a collision momentum is conserved but in an elastic collision the kinetic energy is also conserved. Now this has the consequence of meaning that the coefficient of restitution E equals 1 and there's a complicated derivation um, that proves this and shows this but I'm not going to go into that in this video. Now coefficient of restitution equals speed of separation divided by speed of approach and so if E equals 1 that means the speed of separation equals the speed of approach. So let's take an example where we've got block B that's going to be uh, stationary and then block A is going to come in, collide with that and in this case the blocks don't stick together but move move away um, and the total kinetic energy afterwards is, is the same and so before the collision the mass of block A is 10 kilograms the, the velocity is 6.8 so I've referred to this as a V subscript AI this is the initial velocity of that block and the momentum is 68 kilogram meters per second block B has a mass of 5 kilograms and an initial velocity of 0 meters per second because it was stationary so its momentum was zero kilogram meters per second. Now after the collision block A is still 10 kilograms but we don't know its velocity and we don't know its momentum. Block B is five kilograms and again we don't know its velocity and we don't know its momentum. What we do know is that from the equation for the conservation of momentum that the mass of block A times its initial velocity and the mass of block B times its initial velocity will equal the mass of block A times its final velocity and the mass of block B times its final velocity. Now if we put in some values we know that this term is 68, this term is 0 and also we know the mass of block A and B so we can substitute those in and we get an equation in terms of the final velocity of A and the final velocity of B. Now we also know that the speed of approach VAI take away VBI uh, equals 6.8 take away 0 equals 6.8 and we know that the speed of separation will be equal to that so VBF the final velocity of B take away the final velocity of A that will also equal 6.8 um, it's because speed of approach equals speed of separation for an elastic collision and um, we can rearrange that it's more useful to have it as VBF equals 6.8 plus VAF so we've now got two equations with two unknowns and we can then rearrange those and solve for those two unknowns so if we combine these two equations and just substitute in instead of writing VBF we write in 6.8 VAF get this equation here so that's just this equation written out but instead of writing this we've written this term in if we multiply out those brackets we get 68 equals 10 VAF plus 34 plus 5 VAF we can simplify that we can then subtract 34 from both sides so if 34 cancels out on the right hand side we end up with 34 equals 15 VAF rearrange and solve for VAF. We also know that VBF equals 6.8 plus VAF which we've just worked out as 2.27 so overall we know that VBF equals 9.07 meters per second. So now we can fill in the blanks uh, we know the velocity of A, the final velocity of A, we know the final velocity, uh, we know the final momentum and also we know the final velocity of B and we know its momentum and it's a useful sort of sanity check we can see that momentum before is 68 plus 0 so that's that's just 68 and then afterwards it's 22.7 plus 45.3 so and that equals 68 so we can see that the momentum afterwards is also it's been conserved we could also work out the kinetic energy before and after and we would see that that has been conserved as well. So there we go, that's the equation for the conservation of momentum. What about coefficient of restitution? 
Well, the speed of separation divided by speed of approach, we can work that out. So initially, it's 6.8 take away zero, so it's 6.8 meters per second for the speed of approach. For separation, we can work that out, it's 9.07 take away 2.27, that equals 6.8. So coefficient of restitution is 6.8 divided by 6.8, and that equals 1. So it's just a bit of a sanity check, and it always equals 1 for elastic collisions. So that's been a video about some more concepts to do with momentum and collisions.